So ladies and gentlemen, a couple months ago I made a video covering the brand new Airsoft A330 previews, at least at the time they were brand new, covering the external fuselage of the aircraft, some PBR rendering, the modeling, as well as screenshots of the EFB or the electronic flight bag that were released by Airsoft at the time. Today, we've just gotten a video from Mathis Koch from the Airsoft team showing the EFB in action in video format. So we'll be checking out everything that's new with the Airsoft A330's EFB coming soon for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. It should be a good indication as to what direction this project will be taking. So for all that and much more, stay tuned. What is going on guys, Flyby Simulations here and welcome back to another news video. And in today's video, as I said before, we're going to be talking about the latest Airsoft A330's previews, covering its features, the overall layout, as well as some of the special insights that we've gathered from the video shared by Mathis, as well as some of the other activity on his YouTube channel. So, pretty exciting stuff up ahead. Right before we get started though, I have to say that these videos do take a little bit of time to put together because I need to compile the research and then create a script and then actually bring it to you guys on YouTube. So if you guys can appreciate all that effort, please be sure to like the video as well as subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification icon right next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything in the world of Flight Sim. With that all said, let's get into the video. So ladies and gentlemen, right before we get started with this video, I highly urge you to check out the full video that Mathis himself has created linked down in the description section of the video where you can see the various features being discussed by Mathis himself. We'll talk about all of the highlights in this one to give you a good idea of what to expect with the latest rendition of the A330 by Airsoft. But again, if you guys want to see everything in action, make sure to check out his video as well. So let's then go ahead and start with the sim brief support offered with the latest EFB. Now this is pretty standard stuff with most electronic flight bags for most third party aircrafts out there, but you can indeed import flight plans and link the sim brief ID that you have to the Airsoft A330, just like the Airsoft CRJ series did back in the day. They set the bar pretty high with the EFB, so I expected nothing less. What I didn't expect, however, is this brand new feature that I've never actually seen on any other EFB. You can now set a custom wallpaper on your electronic flight bag, and it's a great way to personalize your flying experience. And yes, you heard me right, you can actually set the background off your iPad that sits in your flight deck. So you can set any image you want, you need to simply copy the link to any image on the internet or choose an image from your personal computer and paste it into this box to completely change the look of your EFB. It's a tiny detail, but details like this definitely add up in the long run. Now let's then go ahead and talk about the aircraft settings. When it comes to the aircraft settings, you have the usual plethora of customizable options. Again, nothing new with the Phoenix A320 as well as the Airsoft CRJ series and some of the other aircraft that have been released by third-party developers. We've gotten pretty comfortable with, you know, expecting some fantastic customization. So you can now customize the altimeter as well as the altimeter synchronization. You can customize the units for both weight and balance. And you also have advanced throttle calibration for both single and multi-axis throttle quadrants. Again, similar to the Airsoft CRJ series, so if you do have a complex throttle quadrant set up at home, the aircraft will indeed accommodate two separate throttle quadrants as well as a reverse axis. So it's pretty cool that they offer that feature, but again, expected nothing less after their CRJ series was released back in the day. Now let's then go ahead and talk about the overall layout of the Airsoft A330's EFB. Uh, I just want to touch on this because the way the information is displayed on this EFB is probably the best I have seen on any EFB out there. And keep in mind, I'm also coming from X-Plane 11 back in the day, and this even tops that. So compared to the CRJ, and keep in mind, most of the comparisons I will make today will be to the CRJ since it's Airsoft's other major product for the sim. But compared to the Airsoft CRJ, the EFB looks a lot bigger, it looks a lot cleaner and it looks a lot more information packed in my opinion. Once you import your Simbri flight plan, you can actually access most of your flight related aspects from this main screen right here. You can access the weight and balance, fueling and loading characteristics from this little menu here. You can view a physical real time map, including the waypoints and the airways you're going to be taking for that particular flight to track your flight in real time over here on the top right, of course. And you can also import shortcuts to Navigraph or Navdata Pro Charge on this little panel on the bottom right to have easy access to them rather than going back and forth and you know picking your charts every time. So again, previously with other EFBs on other third party aircraft, this is something just I've personally noticed, you would have to go through several menus on the left of the EFB or on the top of the screen. But I like how all of the pertinent information you absolutely need for every flight is displayed right here in the center of the screen for you guys to have easy access to it. And it makes your life a lot more easier when you're trying to fly an aircraft for Christ's sake. 
Next up, let's delve a little bit deeper into the flight plan. This carries over to the OFP or the operational flight plan as well. You can click on the top left and you're greeted to this entire page where you can not only see your entire OFP imported from SimBrief on the right, but can also view the METAR information for your departure, arrival, and also your alternate airport. You can also see their transition altitudes and transition levels very, very clearly laid out here. So you don't have to go into the Navigraph charts to be able to check this out or contact ATC. It's very, very well laid out. Um, and it's a neat little touch that makes the experience of flying much better in my personal opinion. Again, this is just one of those small little details, the transition altitude detail that doesn't necessarily affect the way you fly, but it definitely makes your experience much better. You can even use this menu if you aren't using SimBrief to simply get weather reports for different parts of the world through both METARs and TAFs. So it's pretty cool stuff. You don't have to import a SimBrief flight plan. You can just, you know, go and ad hoc fly this aircraft and you will have weather reports available to you. Next up, let's talk about the weight and balance. The weight and balance tab also heavily borrows from the Aerosoft CRJ, but that isn't a bad thing because the CRJ did the loading and cargo operations of the aircraft very well back in the day. You can customize the time it will take your aircraft to load and have granular control over each setting at the same time. And once you've finished loading up your aircraft, you're also provided a CG or center of gravity chart to compare your values against your flight plan to make sure all of the values are in order. So pretty cool stuff, very comprehensive, nothing to say there. Next up, let's talk about the charts implementation. Now, this was pretty cool. Again, with that overall layout of the EFB and the way they've implemented the charts into there, it's pretty cool. So you can access all of your charts from either Navigraph or Nav Data Pro pretty conveniently here, and it displays very smoothly on this EFB natively. Now, most of the times I've seen that aircraft developers only offer Navigraph charts, but now if you have Nav Data Pro, this is also natively supported in the Airsoft A330 EFB. So pretty cool stuff there. As I said before, you can also pin these charts to the main panel to easily access them if need be without going through all of the airport charts to find the most applicable ones to your flight each time. It's a small quality of life improvement, but as I said before, it adds up so you can directly access all your important charts like your approach plates and your taxi instructions right from this main menu, not to have to go to your Navigraph charts menu every time. And now finally, let's now talk about the ground handling suite, the extensive ground handling suite offered by the Airsoft A330, where it offers an entirely proprietary ground handling suite, including its own custom pushback feature, which I have to say, guys, is the best native pushback feature I've seen on any aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator, including the Phoenix A320. It's similar to what Toolbar Pushback does for Flight Simulator 2020, and if you're coming from X-Plane 11, you might have known better pushback. It basically allows you to plot your pushback path manually by adding waypoints on a top-down view of the stand where you're currently located, allowing you to precisely set your pushback location. Now, I personally use GSX for most of my ground handling, you know, operations on the ground, but it's great again that Airsoft have thought of this feature and implemented it so neatly in their A330. As you can see from this little video clip, you can basically set your location as I described before. And once you press pushback, the aircraft takes care of the rest. So talk about making things easy for you and talk about making your life easy when you're trying to pilot an airliner. So that's pretty much all we had in the way of previews. It was only a four minute, 50 second video that was shared by Mathis, but I am going to keep a very, very close eye on his content on his channel. So if you guys wanna stay up to date with everything that is to do with the Airsoft A330 and when it's gonna be arriving for the simulator and so on, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I can't stress that enough. It's a great way for you guys to stay up to date, as well as a great way for you to show me support for my content here. Now, just a little bit more info on the A330 and what we can draw from some of the content Mathis has been pre viewing where around nine days ago, we got a bit of a showcase showing us the completely interactive A330 manual that will be shipped with the aircraft. This is something revolutionary and certainly something I've never seen in a flight simulator before or in third party add on before I should say more specifically, you can essentially click on various pictures and schematics on the manual to obtain complete information on the back end systems of the aircraft, as well as how and why they work the way they do. Now Mathis does go on to stress that all of the previews that are being showcased on his YouTube channel are the Airsoft A330 under beta. So we know that the A330 is still very much under development, but can also see the progress progress being made to the aircraft firsthand. We can see that interior modeling is also progressing with some of the knobs and colors you can see in and around the EFB. All in all, these are all very good signs that the aircraft might actually be gracing our simulators very shortly and knowing Airsoft, they'll do a stand-up job. 
So with that all said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little news, little snippet. I found it on his channel and I had to bring it to the YouTube community as soon as possible. I know how much you guys value up and coming news for Flight Simulator. So if you guys enjoyed this video, again, I can't stress this enough. It really helps my channel if you guys give this video a like, maybe subscribe to the channel and also press that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Flight Sim. With that all said, thanks for flying by.